What's up? This is On the Couch at Music City SF. I'm your DJ, Stefan Aronson. This is the band Marston. <laughs> Let's get this started correctly. You didn't see all the bloopers, but there were bloopers for Blooper. sure. For sure. Um, you're all right to get closer if you want to. I don't mind having girls right up on my sides. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sweet. Don't tell your boyfriends. Hey, how about give me an intro to what the band name is and then um, your own uh, names and what you do in the band. Hi, I'm Una. I'm Erin. And we're missing Ryder, who's here in spirit. Uh, our band is called Marston. Um, we, I play guitar. Um, I play the keyboard and I sing backup vocals yeah. for Una here. <laughs> and uh, Ryder also sings and she plays guitar. Uh, when did your band form? Uh, this band formed about one year ago when I left Los Angeles and came back up here. Uh, Why did you leave Los Angeles? Sort of, I guess, uh, just sort of. <laughs> Why did she leave Los Angeles? Well, it's a long and interesting story. A circuitous tale. A circuit Serpentine. <laughs> uh, so I was living in Los Angeles. I had this band. It was great when it started, and it turned out to be less great what by the end. What was it called? It was a good band. Don't, don't talk oh, about Oh, no, I just band. mean the experience. Oh. Yeah. Uh, it was called Una. Okay. I'll tell you about where the Marston band name came from if you want, but the Una band name is just, that's a dead-end question, because I just, you know. Because that's her name. Oh, uh, uh, you don't technically still take that band with you know, everywhere you go? Uh... Well, she's called by the name of the band everywhere she goes because that's, true. that's what her mama named her. Yeah. But, yeah, you know, I'm not no. sorry to put that, to, to bury that one. I mean, I, it, was a gr it was a great project. I can't stop being Una any more than I can stop uh, being the voice that was recorded on those songs. You know, I mean, that's like who, who you actually are. And I think... Um, I don't think it's necessarily more of a challenge to leave a band that has your name than it would be to leave a band called like, you know, Music Code 1374. If like you put your whole heart into it, it's still gonna be hard to leave. It's just that it maybe is a little bit simpler in a social media sense. Makes sense. How did she find you then? Um, well, it's also a long and serpentitious, what did you say? <laughs> Tail, yeah. Kick back. <clears throat> All right. So tell us how, bueno. how she found you. Bueno. Um, we, well, we met actually like 15 years nope. ago. Sorry, 14 cut. years ago. Cut. Please don't include that. What? Do not date that. Please. We met. <laughs> a few years ago. 15 years ago when we were 10. Uh, well, the great part is that I get to keep the cut part in the that. video, yeah. and then yeah. I just get to the like, cut. Still in the video. Why was that still in the video? Weird. Ding. So how did she find you? Hundreds of years. <laughs> 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 um, uh, we met when we were in college, actually, in Spain. We both went and studied in, in this little town called Alcalá de Henares. It's like outside of Madrid. And um, we, we met there, and we became friends. We, and then yeah, I, I had started playing guitar about seven days before I moved to Spain for a year. So I promptly bought a, gu a guitar. And guess what? Aaron, coincidentally, also had a guitar. <laughs> I did. I had a guitar that my friend Paco made, which was rad. And so we a would get Spanish together. Guitar. We would sing, uh, sing songs in English, which was a great relief to a couple of gringos li living in Spain. Aaron's like, Super fluent though, and she was far more fluent than I was. I, I didn't only find Una; I found a husband. That's where in the Spain. husband. That's where the husband comes he's in. He's not the one that made you the guitar. No, that's his friend. He just um, used this friend to make you fall in love with him. Exactly. Nice, good work. Yeah. Oh, he it did was well done. Good work. He did <laughs> solid. Work. Well, well done, bro. Well, well done. <laughs> well done, my friend. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's how we met. We met. Um, in Spain and we started playing music together and singing together and then um, when Una moved back up here did she uh, move here for you she d she moved for yeah love. pure love of yeah. me um okay so off of the LA thing uh favorite venue in LA to play or to yeah um uh 
I think the bootleg, but I think the big stage of the bootleg. There's two stages there. Yeah, I like I like the big stage. Um, I didn't get to play that with my band Una, but I played that with another band called Beginners, and that was pretty cool. Um, great place to see a show too. There's kind of there's not like a bad seat in the house, and then there's kind of some stadium seating that goes up in the back of the space. So, um, but the Echo is a pretty great place. Also in LA, I think I know that one. Yeah, it's the one that like upstairs is on Sunset, and then downstairs is in an alley, the Echoplex. So that one has two stages as well, then. So favorite venue not in San Francisco. The Fox. Duh. Uh, that Duh. works. <laughs> I always say I always say San Francisco in like a casual sense, meaning like the whole Bay Area. No. But I always realize that bands that that play a lot of shows outside San Francisco or, or are based in Oakland or aren't necessarily San Francisco bands always be like, well, what about Oakland? I'm like, well, yeah, I said San Francisco outside of San Francisco. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Like what Oakland. I, yeah. San Francisco is like Oakland. Uh, I don't know. Somewhere, I don't know. So, so you have to go outside of the Bay area is what I mean. Outside of the Bay area. So you should ask this girl, you should ask this girl, like what her favorite venues are in San Francisco. She goes to more shows than anybody I know. That's me. The next question, though. Oh, okay. Outside of San Francisco, I'm pushing her here, like making her work for I'm it. I'm from Vacaville, dude. I don't know. Uh, I know, but have you? There's have not any good venue. Well, there was one. There's one. It's the community center. The community center yeah, in Vacaville. In Vacaville. Did you go to shows in Madrid? In Madrid, the Apollo or something? Yeah. Isn't that the venue? There's a neighborhood in Madrid that's like, um, I like punk rock a lot and so there's this one neighborhood called Malasaña that has like a lot of little um little garitos that are, that's like little concert halls or like little I don't know little holes that's really fun do you, you have just a, hop around there do you have a favorite um Bay Area punk rock band um Lagwagon is my favorite band are they are they local yeah they're local-ish they're from Santa Barbara they're from like Goleta but they're great Favorite and I've seen them rock, like a million like, times. Favorite punk rock band overall, though. Them. Okay. okay. Uh, what's your second favorite? Um, probably No Effects. Nice. I saw them at uh, that junior high. What's that like? That teenager concert that like tours around. Um, the Vans Warp Tour. Warp Tour. <laughs> I went to Warp Tour as a twenty-something year old, and it was awesome and awkward. Yeah. I was. I was. Uh, do I've it. never felt old before in my life, and I went to Warp. <laughs> Warp tour and I was like, I'm so excited, and I'm what so the old. Crap! Yeah. Why am I so old? That's a, such a bummer because it's such a cool concert and it's so exciting and it's so punk and it's so edgy and so much like mosh pits and so much crowd surfing. And then all of a sudden you're like, Why is everybody here 14? Ah. Turnip or rutabaga? Hey, what? Turnip or rutabaga? Turnip. Turn up. For Wrong. What? Turn down for what? Rutabaga. That's the whole game. That's Turn over Rutabaga. <laughs> but who decides which is correct? You? Una does. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> She's the lead singer. You can you can play it too. You can you can Okay, try Turn it. up or Rutabaga. Rutabaga. No. Ah! <laughs> I just said turn up earlier. I was thinking <laughs> of a turn that on your levels. <laughs> <laughs> you ever wanted to have Una all up in you your ears wait for her to get excited? <laughs> that, that Una, was, that she'll make your tiny, ears bleed. That was a tiny peep, just so you know. Yeah. <laughs> Step away from the mic, Una. Uh, speaking of tiny peeps, I don't know. <laughs> um, Those well, Easter well, candies? We are like five five minutes. I'm gonna push. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna push it and start it again. I'm, I'm sure it's definitely All right, we're breaking into the selfie mode now. Um, oh where we each get to hold the camera and talk into it. So Una, you're first. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I know. Um, his favorite Bay Area band. Marston. Favorite Bay Area band that's not your own band? <laughs> um, I'm kind. Of, this is not a good question for me right now, and I can tell you why, but I won't. Okay, so then just answer it. <laughs> she just did. It's our band. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so why why no answer? I can give well, you, you know a list. What, I, I like Foxtails Brigade. Oh, I yes. like Goodnight Texas. I'm yeah. frustrated because I have a gig that I'm trying to book and I, the bands that I want are not getting back to me, but you probably sh I probably shouldn't say that because I probably don't want that on video. You just said that on video. We can turn it this way and I'll tell you what I feel about that. So not right there. Okay. So 
this is the reason I will never be a band manager is because bands are so bad at getting back to you and so bad at like managing themselves. Yeah. I'm never going to be a band manager. Did, is that what you wanted to do? No. I'm what? a graphic designer. Oh. Well, yeah, being a band manager is a pretty thankless task. You got to kiss your ego g- goodbye and still be like a total bulldog. You have to be like a, a dad or a mom to the band and there's a reason that I'm not married with kids Okay. Yeah, That's Stefan's totally not much of a people yeah, person. Hang on. Okay. There's shot. a very There's real good. possibility that I will drop your camera That's right okay. now. What is your favorite Bay Area band? Um, no effects. Are they? They're, they're, are they s- I think actually, I don't know if they're they originally cinema? from the Bay Area. Maybe they're from South. Of I here? think they might be from El- like Southern California. Yeah, I actually, I think so too. I know they live here now. At least um, one of them does. What is what is your were you um, were you actual at his house favorite last band? Last Saturday, band was that you parked across the street? Yeah, stalking yeah. him. No, it wasn't windows. me. It wasn't me. Um, then what's your favorite band that you've played with? Um, like uh, in a the, show. My favorite band that we've been collaborating with actually Una mentioned it. Um, Goodnight Texas is a great band. The guys are awesome. They're on the the Undercover Presents album, and they're awesome. And nice. um, I saw them, and they're great. And <laughs> Um, what's what's your uh, what's your one year plan with uh, Marston? My one like one year from now. Yeah, I'm gonna or keep one year from tomorrow. One year from. There's not much time left in two days. She's so. definitely gonna have a better keyboard case. In one year, I have a new keyboard case, nice. and I hope to be still rocking with Una over is she, here. Is that like is that like likely? One hopes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. We'll find out after this interview. I, I right. hope. Yeah, we'll find out after this. <laughs> this one hopes. You can't. You're fired. What's, uh, no what's the five-year plan then? The five, I don't know. The so five-year plan? I could, I could maybe feel this one. Feel <laughs> if I look at this band, one thing I did wrong last time is I like lived off my proceeds, um, which is great for your ego, you know, because you're like, yeah, I'm a musician and I'm paying for groceries with money from the gig and this and da 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 da. But no small business owner is like living off their proceeds in the first, you know, five years. So the idea is to take any proceeds we're able to scrape together from this little sucker and, you know, throw them back into the van and try to, try to grow it into something that not only uh, sustains itself, but maybe can um, grow beyond that a little bit. So nice. there's a few pieces to that. But I think I think that uh, a year from now, we got to get this album out. We, we recorded at Tiny Telephone in September. Um, to tape, which was really exciting, but I sort of shorted the pre-production a little bit, so I'm I'm reapproaching a couple songs and trying to finish some new ones. You know, pl- I love playing shows. Aaron, do you like playing shows? I really like playing shows. Yeah. What's uh? <laughs> is there anything like playing shows? Especially when the microphone is smelly. <laughs> Smelly microphones are the worst, and it's the <laughs> one thing I discovered from a one-time show as Fro Coast. Uh, but smelly microphones are the weirdest thing about not bringing your own mic to a show. I always bring my own mic to a show. Oh God, no, <laughs> you're, you're, you're muted. You're real- yeah. So my grandmother Merle Marston was a dancer. She taught dance in her home. Uh, she was blind, um, and she. Her husband died, and after, and she died six years later of a broken heart. Uh, she drank herself to death, and I think that sounds really horrible. And I just thought maybe we could give her like a a different, different art, you, you know? Do you want to um, pour one out for your grandma? Like we could get some whiskey out here and we Please pour no. one out for <laughs> pour one out for Marston. I did. I kicked the whiskey over. She kicked it already. over already <laughs> from a Dixie cup. I mean, fine dining wear. Is that, is that more <laughs> symbolic can, yeah. than like that was, that was good. songs or whatever? That was is that, good. Is that good? I thought. I thought um, it was good. So the the I was leading up into like uh, um, wait, wait, if we want to if we want to find the band online, where can we find the band? MarstonTheBand.com. Nice and on Facebook. Marston Music. And on Twitter. Una Music. And on Instagram. Just go to marsintheband.com and click around. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, so so uh, this has been on the couch with at Music City SF with Marston, and I uh, hope you go find their music and go to all their shows. Thank you. Yeah.